All right, man. We're on the street. Is the Chicago Bears are shopping receiver Anthony Miller. Let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Check out Detroit Lions talk playlist for more videos like this. And my thing is, uh, I think it's, I mean, I, you know, maybe they don't want to pay him. Maybe he got a, you know, money coming up. He only 26 years old. I don't know when he turned 27, but, uh, but yeah, I don't know if he would, they would trade him in a division, but to be honest, the Packers and the Lions can benefit from, uh, Anthony, from Anthony Miller, man, because he got a lot of untapped potential because he ain't really had that quarterback that's going to get him the ball. We already seen, we seen what he did last year in the opening game versus us. And he is a talented guy. And if you can trade for him, maybe a future or a late, late, a late round pick or a future middle round pick, I think you'd be happy what you get with him. You get a guy that can, you know, go stretch the field. You get a guy that can really high point the ball, a guy that can run underneath. I do think he a pro bowl, all pro caliber guy. He just ain't been able to show it because Chicago ain't had consistent quarterback play. Chicago ain't never had no good quarterbacks. At all, and that and that's the big thing with uh with Miller. I think Jared Goff would provide him a guy who can get him the ball. I think Aaron Rodgers would provide him a guy who can get him the ball. And I think then you will see what type of caliber. Then he start cracking. He start knocking on that top fifteen, top ten door. You know, especially if you you know you don't want to take a risk on Anthony. Excuse me, Antonio Brown. Miller reminds you of maybe a less. A little lesser, you know, prime uh, Antonio Brown. But if I'm, you know, just think about it. If I'm the Packers, if I'm the Lions, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm really, really thinking about going to grab this guy because guess what? For the Lions, now you don't have to waste a draft pick on an extra receiver. I think you put him out there and you drive Devontae Smith, I think you'd be all right. I think you'd be all right. And I think the Bears, you know, I just think the Bears, ain't, you know, they ain't really did right by him. Because when he, I think he came out of Memphis. I get Memphis from Kentucky, but he's from Memphis. I believe he came out of Memphis. Get them mixed up. He was a dog, bro. He just needed the right QB. And I think Jared Goff will, will get the most out. We'll hope we'll get the most out of him. You know, you see him, you see him flying down the field. And he just, he a talented guy, man. He just ain't been able to show it with Trubisky and Nick Foles and whoever else they had over there. But, you know, he, 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 he'd be like a Golden Tate accusation for them. You know, if it, you know, it'd be via trade, obviously, unless they cut him. But he one of them dudes, man, that's special. Anthony Miller is special. You know, everybody get caught up with the big receiver. You got Tyrell Williams. You got Quintess Cephas. You got um, Rashad Pyramid. But I, you know, I would really like to add him. I think, I think he got number one ability, but I think he'd be a perfect number two. Move him in the slide. Move him out outside. You get Devontae Smith, guess what? You can move him in the slide, you can move him outside. Now you got some receivers. You now your receiver core look a lot different. You got Bashad Pyramid, who you really can't count on physically, but he can stretch the defense. You got Miller who can stretch the defense going underneath. You got Smith who can stretch the defense going underneath. You got Tyrell Williams who can stretch the defense going underneath. You got Quintez Cephas working out the slide. You know, he he showed versus Chicago in the second game last year that he can stretch the defense. Now you got talent. Now it's really gonna be up to Anthony Lynn to do something with that talent, but I think they feel comfortable with their receiving core. After the draft, I think they can probably go with, you know, they should go with Smith. If he, they don't go with Smith, he going to be fucking all pro type of talent guy out the gate. But, um, and I think Justin Fields, Brandon Ayuk, C.D. Lamb, a lot of those receivers that went last year. You're going to see a runner. You're going to see a runner receiver. You're going to see Gardavius Tony go. You're going to see Terrence Marshall go. A lot of them dudes going to go, you know, Jalen Wild expect uh, higher than they expected to because his value later in this draft at, uh, safety is value at uh, uh, in pass rush in general. There's value at rec uh, receiver lays, value at running back late. There's value at offensive line. So you're going to see a lot of situations where you're going to see a nicer run at receiver, man. And, you know, somebody might end up like Henry Ruggs the rookie year. Somebody might end up having a Jerry Judy type of year, which it wasn't bad. But, you know, the potential to have a Justin Fields type of year, the potential to have a C.D. Lamb type of year, that's, that's a, lot, a lot of teams going to really start to reach, you know, for a lot of them guys, man. But, uh, you know, I love Anthony Miller. I hope he will come to Detroit. I don't know if he will go in division. But, you know, they trade him in the division. But he he, he, he a nice guy. He a nice. You know, he, he'd be a really favorite. Kind of be a more explosive Golden Tate for Detroit. But, hey, let me know what you guys think. Check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, inquiry, response, or video request. All my social media links description. Want to make a donation? Cash app, CJGood313. PayPal link description. Best way to donate. Share, share the video. Let me know what you guys think. One time for the one time. Mercy Sports Talk. Peace.